today I'm going to do a video that is long awaited. I got this question so many times when I first moved to Atlanta. So I'm going to share all about my thoughts about Atlanta, the pros and cons. So Atlanta is the eighth largest metro city in the United States with a population of about 6 million people. Atlanta by itself is about half a million people, but as a metro Atlanta city, it's the eighth largest city if you count the metro area. So let's get into the pros and cons about Atlanta, what I think about it moving here. And so Atlanta was actually just recently ranked number one place to buy real estate in the United States. So that's a pretty big deal. Everyone here who has bought real estate or benefited from real estate here already knows that to be true. Well, I'm going to speak for myself. I know that to be true. And I don't think I realized that when I came here and bought real estate, but that is just the case where Atlanta is actually ranked the number one place. So that's a pretty big deal. If you live in Atlanta, if you moved here, it's a pretty big deal. But Atlanta was also, for the seventh year in a row, ranked number one for income inequality. And so you have to ask yourself who benefits from the growth and the benefits of the city in general. As a wealth equity strategist and someone who works in venture capital and business, that is something that I pay very close attention to because I'm watching the economy with the intention of building black wealth for myself and my community. And so it's important to recognize that although Atlanta is growing and have a lot of things going for itself and something that needs to be addressed and navigated and potentially better. And so now let's get into the pros and cons of Atlanta. So I'm going to do four categories. I'm going to give the perspective as the individual who is a millennial and who's coming here to build a life. If that's something that you're interested in, I'm going to give that perspective. The second perspective is if you're career driven. So we're going to talk about the corporate life here and why Atlanta may be a good place for you. And then the third one is going to be just a creative, an entrepreneur, someone who's into culture. I'm going to give that perspective as well. And then the last perspective I'm going to give if you're a parent or if you have children, what you should know about Atlanta. So those are the four categories I'm going to go over and I'm going to share pros and cons. So the, as an individual, it's definitely a city life here. Atlanta is fun. You have stuff that you can do, but I'm from New York. So New York is a city that never sleeps. That's what we call it. The pro is that there's always something to do. There's always somewhere to go if you're looking for it. Now, New York, something to do and somewhere to go is going to find you, even if you ain't looking for it, okay? There's always something going on. But in Atlanta, you can create the life that you want here. So if you do want a city life, a party life, you're definitely going to find that. You have to just curate that for yourself if that's what you want. Um, but as far as, you know, the city itself, you get what you want. You got the skyline, you got the whole, like, you have the whole thing. So if you're a city person, or if you dream to live in a city, Atlanta will give you that fix. Again, I'm from New York. I know what the city life is like. I'm a city girl at heart. And you do get that here. The cons, because it's not like the biggest city or it's not a northern city or a fast paced city as other places. The con is that sometimes you can feel like it's a bit slow paced or you have to talk slower or move slower. It's just it overall, the South in general, if you're from the North, you need to know the South is more slow paced you will get a slower pace and you feel yourself have to kind of like <laughs> slow down a little bit in the way you move, the way you talk, the way you build. It's progress and it's progressive, but you still have to take your time. And so that may be a good or bad thing depending on who you are. And for me, that's perfect because I'm at that place where I'm building my life, my family, my career. And so I, I like the fact that I do have a fast paced options in a nightlife and restaurants and food, but I also do like that I can just go out and breathe fresh air um, and hike and see trees and mountains. And so a nickname for Atlanta is actually called City in a Forest. So that should tell you right there that you will get what you're looking for when it comes to Atlanta being a place that you can get the nice city life, but also have a slow paced, nature driven experience. That is my perspective on an individual basis. Now let's talk about career. If you're someone who's working in corporate or working in your career and you're building your career and you're like, how would Atlanta benefit me? So Atlanta has, I think, almost 30 major corporate U.S. corporations here. Anywhere from Coca-Cola, Delta, UPS, Cox Enterprises, which is like a VC company and a business company, like an entertainment company. Atlanta has so many of those places. There's um, 
the headquarters of Georgia Pacific, Home Depot, Equifax, Twilio, Microsoft, Google, Comcast, like every major corporate business partnership or person or company you can think of, Atlanta has either the HQ or a headquarter office here that you can move from. So Atlanta really does have a lot to offer when it comes to career. If you're in someone who's working in corporate America, personally, that's not me. If anything, a lot of my clients work in corporate America and I do programming and investments with corporate America, but I personally do not have a nine to five job at corporate America, but some people actually do want to hear if that's a possibility for them as well as tech companies. So a lot of tech companies are also moving here to Atlanta. Like I said, Twilio, Salome, and a whole bunch of other companies, Google, Microsoft, a lot of huge VC slash tech companies are here as well. So Atlanta does have a lot of places to go if you are building your career in corporate America. This is definitely a good place for you. Um, and then as an entrepreneur, so this is my favorite part. As y'all know, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been my entire life, I think, just entrepreneurial but now I'm a full-time entrepreneur. Okay. So, I don't know if the lighting is gonna look different, but y'all, my, my camera died in the middle of me recording, so the lighting may change. It might look a little different, I don't know, but we're just gonna keep going. So, pros and cons. So as an entrepreneur, creatively, um, if you're into film, if you're a musician, if you're into a small business, if you have your own you know, company, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're just a creative in general, Atlanta is amazing for that. Like one thing about Atlanta, it's the number one place for the highest amount of black owned businesses. And they're not gonna let black businesses just fall through the cracks. But they have a plethora of resources to make sure that you do have what you need if you are looking for it. And so I think the biggest thing to know about being an entrepreneur out here is that the opportunity is crazy, but you are only gonna get out what you put in. And so, there's tons of resources and economic development agencies and nonprofit organizations and government entities that specifically are created to give assistance, whether it's grant assistance, technical assistance, friendly, low interest loans. Like if you're a small business or if you have a business idea and you want to get started, Atlanta is an amazing place for that. Um, so I'll list some resources actually in the comment because I know quite a few companies that I work with because I'm right now applying for a small business loan for my own company. And so I have a meeting next week with a few organizations who are going to help me get my financials together, my P&L, my profit and loss statements, my projections, like everything. They're going to do all that for me and the city is paying for it. So I don't know a lot of cities that do that, but Atlanta, if you want to do something and start a business, there is no reason why you should fail if you are here from Tyler Perry Studios to a whole bunch of other places like modeling agencies, dance agencies, um, painting. I know so many entrepreneurs here who have their own graphic business, their own clothing, but like, I mean, honestly, honestly, if you're an entrepreneur creative, another word for it is like they say Black Hollywood. And another thing that I really love about Atlanta is that it is not like a crab in a bucket type place. At least my experience is that I only really surround myself with people who don't have that mentality so that could also be a part of it I do know there's probably some people who have like different experiences and there's people here who do give them like the crab in a bucket mentality but honestly my experience is that you can surround yourself with really good successful people here um, because also with it being in the south there is that southern hospitality that sort of communal feeling that sort of like wearing together um, help me, I help you, vice versa. And I know a lot of other places, if there's a lot of resources, but there's also a lot of demand, then people will act a little weird or act funny. Um, and so I'm at the place in my career and in my life where I'm surrounding myself by people who are better than me. I want to be challenged by people who are better than me. I want people to tell me if I'm doing something wrong or tell me how I can be better. And I'm also going to pour into them because even if they may be more advanced than me than one area, I'm I'm gonna always come to a relationship or come to the table having something to offer. You're never gonna see me come trying to ask for something and not be able to offer how I can better somebody's life. And so I think that being said, that background is important to know that, you know, if you do have those things, then yeah, you'll be a great success here in Atlanta. You just have to go for it. You can't just sit around and wait for it to come to you. Now, whew, if you got kids, I need you to sit down and, and look right here. This message is for you. So. 
Being from the North, let me say this. I was born in Brooklyn, raised in the hood. One of the worst neighborhoods in the 90s, right? And I still excelled for many reasons. But what I want to highlight on this video, which is related to Atlanta, is the school system. Before I moved here, everyone was saying the school system is a mess. Like, and I have connections with a lot of people here in business and government and community development. So I'm not, if you know me personally, I'm not trying to shade on Atlanta. It's not perfect. This is the area where as someone who has children, it is difficult because when they first moved here, they were in a pandemic for a whole year and a half. And now they only have like really a year and a half of non-pandemic life at a new school. So for them, it's difficult. But for me as a parent watching my children experience Atlanta in the public school system, it's rough. Like I said, I grew up in the hood, okay? But the public system here, the charter system here, we tried them both. And I know people who has come here from the north or other places and was like, whew, moment of silence for the struggle. It is a struggle. Listen, if you like me, you like, nah, I can't be that bad. That's cat, that's cat. It is as bad as people warn you. This is not a video to talk about why the school system is struggling. That's a whole nother video. But the reality is that if you have children, you need to make sure you have a plan. So for me, I was told live in a neighborhood that will have a good school system. The problem with that is that you're gonna be around surrounded by a lot of white people. Like, I'm not trying to do that. I really am not. I wanna be in a truly diverse area, meaning not 20% black and 80% white. We're talking at least 30, 40% black, at least 30, 40% other, and at max, 20, 30% white. I didn't move here from Lancaster, which is mainly like white and Hispanic and Latina and Latino to come someplace where my children still have minority. I didn't move that experience. So I would say that the school system is rough. If you're not rich and you care about diversity, which is me, it's me, it is gonna be a struggle. Right now I'm applying to private schools, which I can't even afford them right now, but I'm still applying because I need to be actively doing something to help my children because I think the South in general is just not as advanced as the North. So even though I grew up in the hood and I went to school in the hood, I was up North. It was just more advanced. And I don't mean any shade to the South or to Atlanta, but it is slower here, especially if you're in a black area. Things progressed here way later, like decades and decades and decades later than the North. So not only is life more fast paced, it's just more advanced. And so coming here and my kids went to the public schools, they went to the charter schools. And right now I don't feel like it's much of a difference. The teachers themselves, they're amazing. Amazing teachers, amazing. At the school that my children go to now, amazing. But the system, it's, oof. the system, y'all. It's a struggle, it's a struggle. So I'm the no cap. If you have kids, this is what you need to know. Research the area and have a backup plan. Since I work from home, I'm even considering homeschool if I can't do private school. But I mean, it's just the, the schools are overcrowded. The buildings are kind of old. Um, there's a few really good schools, but it's like lottery systems. It's hard to get into. And so I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out, but you just can't throw your kids in a public school or a charter school here, unless you live in one of those all white neighborhoods. But y'all already know me. I don't want my kids growing up. Like I don't want my children growing up to feel like they're the other. And even if the people here aren't racist, there's still a culture of whiteness is superior or I don't see color. And I think a lot of them mean well, but then a good amount of them is like, if I could have, I would have voted for Obama for a third term. If you care about the culture your kids are going to grow up in, you have to have a plan. So maybe I'll do a whole nother video about that because it was a struggle. Um, but yeah, the city itself is amazing. The food is unmatched. The culture is unmatched. The music, the vibes, like it's really nice. It's like a mix of like city Southern pride mixed with innovation and creativity. And again, you got the skyline, you got the big buildings, you got the restaurants, you got the nightlife. So it's a great balance of city life and country life is 10, 15 minutes away if you need it. 
Um, and so that's why that's my experience with Atlanta. It's a great place to raise a family if that's what you the type of time you want. Um, it's a great place to buy real estate and it's a great place to really build a life and have a balanced life. So highly recommend um, I highly recommend Atlanta and um, I hope I touched everything. Oh, the biggest thing you need a car. The public transportation system here is sorry, Mayor Andre. Sorry, Keisha, our previous mate. Like, I'm from New York. Again, like, this is important to know. If you're from a place that has an advanced area that Atlanta doesn't have, you need to know about it. Um, you need a car. Overall, I think Atlanta is great. Highly recommend. Um, the worst part about Atlanta is the traffic. I think because so many people move here from everywhere else, there's so many different types of people that are driving. Like, us New Yorkers, we drive a certain way. But we all drive the same way, right? Like there's controlled chaos. I don't know. I think that's the best way to explain New York. I've driven in a lot of other cities too, but Atlanta, I see an accident every day. And it's sad, even in New York, I didn't see accidents every day. In Pennsylvania, where I used to live, I didn't see accidents every day. I don't know what Atlanta is gonna do about the traffic. They are trying to build their public transportation system, but for now, it's the worst place to drive. Me driving in Cali, New York, DC, like living in all those cities and driving to all those cities. Oh, like I work from home. I get anxiety when I drive. The traffic is worse enough where I will not leave the house unless it's nighttime or if it's like two, three o'clock when I'm picking my kids up from school. I literally plan my life around not having to drive. That's how bad it is here. It's a privilege too, obviously, because I work from home and some people literally have to sit in that traffic if that's what their lifestyle or their job calls for. Um, so if you don't know what type of life you're going to have, make sure you highly curate what you're going to need to navigate the traffic out here because it is as bad as they say. So those are my top two cons, the traffic and the school system. So yeah, that's my video on Atlanta. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, let me know what questions you have. If I did not touch on something that you want to know about Atlanta, put it in the comments. And here's how this is going to work, y'all. I'm spending my time and my energy and obviously my joy because I really do enjoy doing this, making content. So in exchange for this free knowledge and these free coins that I'm dropping in exchange, I ask for y'all to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. I don't want to sound like one of those typical YouTubers, but seriously, subscribe and like it and show some love and share this video because I'm actually trying to make this into an additional stream of income and I want to be genuine about how I do it and I want y'all to be along the journey with me. So until next time, bye.